welcome, 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 welcome to The Tonight Show, everybody. Thank you for being here today. <laughs> Happy Monday. Today is Cyber Monday. Yeah. I love shopping on Cyber Monday because nothing beats spending the holiday season on hold with the Bank of America fraud department. <laughs> huh? No, I didn't buy a TV from Walmart in the Philippines. No, that wasn't me. <laughs> yep, over 60 million people bought gifts today, yet somehow on Christmas all we do is exchange gift cards. How does that work? <laughs> but, but it was a big day. Amazon offered tons of deals. Target rolled out major discounts. And Radio Shack was like, we should really get a website. Yeah, maybe next year. Maybe next. Yep, most people prefer online shopping because it's easier and because we're tired of having to sadly raise our hand at these self-checkout machines. <laughs> I'm an adult who needs help. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Do I weigh my bag or did they give me the bag? Just give me, I'll buy two bags. What is... How did it know that I didn't put the thing in the bag? <laughs> What's going on? Meanwhile, today in Washington, uh, First Lady Jill Biden revealed this year's White House holiday decorations. There are 41 Christmas trees and almost 80,000 lights. Ooh. Meanwhile, the family at 1602 Pennsylvania Avenue is like, they always have to one-up us every year. They got to one-up us. The theme of this year's decorations is gifts from the heart. Oh. I suppose uh, today's theme, gifts I found online for 60% off. <laughs> kind of from the heart, yeah. Yet there are 41 Christmas trees in the White House, and even former President Trump made it onto one of the ornaments. This is real. This is a real ornament. Take a look at this. You see him? There he is. <laughs> you know that's definitely on the side of the tree that faces the wall, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You made that yourself? Let me hang it up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing, amazing. It looks like a reindeer. It looks just like you made a reindeer out of popsticks. There you go, back there. <laughs> Of course, the big news that everyone is talking about is this new COVID variant called Omicron. Yeah, we need another variant like we need another turkey sandwich for lunch. <laughs> Omicron. It sounds like a transformer who can't smell or taste. <laughs> Omicron. <laughs> we're getting kind of deep in the Greek alphabet, you know? Uh, pretty soon, we're going to run out of letters and just start using Gatorade flavors, you know? <laughs> Fauci would be like, we have to do whatever it takes to stop the fierce melon variant. <laughs> yeah, basically everyone is bummed out about the new variant. Meanwhile, Delta Airlines is like, oh yeah, hey yo, what's up? I knew we were gonna come up. But the White House is trying to handle it. Today, President Biden held a press conference and he told Americans that the new variant is a cause for concern, not a cause for panic. Americans heard, and we're like, well, in that case, we'll just buy 10 pallets of toilet paper instead of 12. <laughs> but the White House said it would take two weeks to have definitive data on the new strain. That's right, even our COVID information has shipping delays. <laughs> Unbelievable. Of course... <laughs> of course, Biden told everyone to get their booster. Uh, and he said to carve out some time, because rolling up your sleeves takes longer than you'd think. Is that high enough for you? <laughs> she's going to get one. Not, I think she's teaching that. But, she, but she's going to get one, yes. Mr. President, what do you say to the yes. World Health Organization, <laughs> like the World Health Organization, saying the world nations should help more Oh my God. At that point, just take your shirt off. What are we? What is going on? Never seen anything like it. Um, some major business news uh, today. Jack Dorsey stepped down as the CEO of Twitter. Yep. Twitter hopes that his replacement can find new and exciting ways for strangers to say horrible things to each other. <laughs> I think Dorsey made the right decision, though. It seems like the job really took a toll on him. I mean, here he is nine years ago. This is, that's him. And here he is today. This is real. <laughs> Even Obama's like, man, that job really aged you now. <laughs> that's real. I mean, 
<laughs> it's definitely a sign to leave when your job, uh, when you're 45 and you look like Tom Hanks at the end of Castaway. You know what I mean? <laughs> Some news from overseas, apparently Kim Jong-un banned leather coats in North Korea so that nobody can copy his style. Oh, this is real. Can we see him in his leather jacket? Oh. Right now, there's a giant police raid in the sofa section at Raymore and Flanagan. <laughs> well, get this, due to a huge snowstorm in the UK, more than 60 people, including members of an Oasis cover band, have been stuck in a pub since Friday night. <laughs> yeah. After three days, everyone was fighting with each other. It was almost like they were in the band Oasis. <laughs> almost. And finally, this is going viral. Someone filmed a fellow driver on the highway with a Christmas tree that might have been just a bit too big for their car. Take a look at this. <laughs> he was like, this is gonna look great in my studio apartment. Pfizer and Moderna both say that they're already working on vaccines for the Omicron variant. While uh, Johnson & Johnson is cheering them on. <laughs> yeah, Johnson & Johnson is like, guys, I thought we promised we're not doing vaccines this year. Why are you doing Paris? How'd they start working on this so fast, too? It's like when a team wins the Super Bowl and the first commercial is, buy your Buccaneers championship hat now. <laughs> Meanwhile, officials just announced that Omicron was present in Amsterdam 11 days ago. It took a while to catch it, because in Amsterdam, there's a very different meaning to a new strain going around. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Certain sections of our audience got that faster <laughs> than others. Uh, following the news on the Omicron variant, the CDC is now saying that all adults should get a booster shot. Right now, Instagram is like, incoming booster selfies in three, two, one! <laughs> well, guys, tomorrow's December 1st, and everyone's starting to decorate for the holidays, so the FAA is warning people not to shine laser light displays into the sky. <laughs> the pilots are actually fine with the lasers. It's the emotional support cats on board that go nuts. It's just like... <laughs> Well, this is cool. Uh, Roomba updated its latest vacuum cleaner so that they use AI to avoid knocking over Christmas trees. <laughs> but don't worry, with the new update, your Roomba will still inhale the tree skirt until it blows up and burns your house down. <laughs> it's kind of weird uh, when the Roomba kept knocking over the Christmas tree and then going, Hanukkah rules, Hanukkah rules, <laughs> Hanukkah rules. <laughs> hey, I saw that a new study said that babies start to develop a sense of humor after one month. It's pretty obvious when your baby's like, what's the deal with naps? <laughs> what am I so tired from? All I did before this was sleep. <laughs> Soft foods, wearing diapers, napping before sleep. I'm turning into grandpa. <laughs> I wrote a full-on Seinfeld stand-up oh, test. as a baby, yeah. Uh, get this, I read that this year in America, 210 million packages have already been stolen. Yeah, it turns out those ring doorbells were a lot more effective before everyone started wearing masks. <laughs> it's like, uh, T.S., two humans? I don't know, does that help uh, you, officer? It wasn't a, a coyote that took the package, yeah. <laughs> Finally, police in Germany are looking for burglars who broke through the wall of a toy store to steal dozens of Lego sets. The store was like, uh, maybe we shouldn't have built that wall with Duplos. <laughs> Thieves got away, but said that one regret was robbing the place barefoot. Ow! Well, guys, tonight was the 89th annual Rockefeller Center Christmas tree lighting. Yeah. It is the most beautiful thing you can see in Rockefeller Plaza besides ice skaters falling down. It really is, I think so. <laughs> Having a giant tree outside is great, though. It is that special time of year when Rockefeller Center smells like the inside of an Uber, don't you think? <laughs> Uh, the tree really is a sight to behold. It was decorated with more than 50,000 lights. Wow. Yeah, uh, then one guy plugged in his Tesla and the whole city blacked out. Oh. <laughs> Gotta charge it up, dude. <laughs> if that's not enough, the tree is topped with a star covered in three million crystals. And one construction worker they forgot to bring down. Help! Hey, I... 
Yep, thousands of people were in attendance. Thousands of people. Even the tree was like, um, could everyone just throw on a mask and take like six steps back, please? <laughs> Yeah, people were waiting outside for the tree lighting all day. After a few hours, one guy was like, I can't remember which is my pee bottle and which is my hot cider bottle. I, it, happens, <laughs> it happens every year! <laughs> Me, I gotta get a label maker oh. next year. I gotta charge my Tesla. <laughs> Meanwhile, earlier in the White House, uh, on the fourth night of Hanukkah, President Biden hosted a menorah lighting. Nothing says you really care about a holiday like waiting until the fourth night to celebrate. That's what I said. <laughs> there was a fun moment tonight when Biden looked at the menorah and said, when I was a kid, we called this a flashlight. <laughs> Some more news. An FDA panel just voted 13 to 10 to narrowly endorse Merck's antiviral COVID pill. When it comes to medication, I'm not sure narrowly endorse is the phrase you want to hear. <laughs> yeah, the drug, they said, is only 30% effective. <laughs> For context, that's only 30% more effective than a calzone. So just, just <laughs> putting it in context. Some political news. Dr. Oz officially announced that he is running for U.S. Senate in Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah, he's diving right in. And he's even testing out some campaign slogans to see what, uh, what people respond to. Really? Yep, check some of these out. First up, there's Dr. Oz, make America turn their head and cough again. <laughs> Next, there's Dr. Oz, stick around after the break. I'm talking to people who can't sneeze. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's an episode. <laughs> He's also trying out Dr. Oz, just call me Dr. Philly. Wait, that doesn't work. <laughs> up next, there's Dr. Oz, I know Oprah. <laughs> Followed by Dr. Oz. No, really, I know her. <laughs> and finally, Dr. Oz. I mean, we haven't really spoken recently, but should I give my text a thumbs up sometimes. Is it fascinating? <laughs> uh, hey, did you guys hear about this? CNN has suspended Chris Cuomo indefinitely for his role in advising his brother, Andrew Cuomo, during his recent scandal. Yeah, Chris Cuomo knew something was up when CNN added a suspension countdown clock. <laughs> yeah, you could tell Cuomo really misses CNN. Today he walked up to a pair of strangers and asked if he could stand between them while they yell at each other. <laughs> oh my God, this is exciting, actually. Get this, Walmart, uh, love Walmart. Walmart is selling a baking kit with everything you need to make a family-sized Twinkie. <laughs> Move over, Pfizer and Moderna. We got a new favorite for the Nobel Prize right here. <laughs> family-sized Twinkie. Seriously, where, where was this kit when we were all buying sourdough starters? I mean, come on. Uh, the great thing about Twinkies is that you can uh, serve it as a Christmas dessert this year, and if you don't finish it, it'll be fresh for next year. <laughs> and finally, I saw that uh, Cardi B is launching her own line of vodka-infused whipped cream. Oh. Thank God, something to help me forget, I just sprayed an entire can of whipped cream in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> you, could, you could bring it to the... I, I should have brought it to the nativity scene. <laughs> Oh my God, Cardi. Yeah. Luckily, it's non-dairy uh, for all the health-conscious vodka-infused whipped cream eaters out there. But this is great. You squirt a little of that inside a family-sized Twinkie. Now that's a party. <laughs> Tonight in Washington, D.C., President Biden attended the 99th annual National Christmas Tree Lighting. Meanwhile, the Rockefeller Center Christmas Tree was like, uh, yeah, sure, that's the National Christmas Tree. <laughs> uh, and this was a special, a real-life elf on the shelf made an appearance. Yeah, he got up and said, for the last time, my name is Pete Buttigieg. This is... <laughs> then the organizer said, sorry, here's the real elf on the shelf. And then he got up and said, I'm sorry, for the last time, my name is Dr. Fauci. This is a terrible... <laughs> who's, who's ready? That's right, by all accounts, it was a great time. I mean, it definitely went better than Boris Johnson's tree lighting in the UK. This is real, look at this. <laughs> Let's get to some news uh, earlier today. President Biden revealed his plan to fight COVID this winter, which includes free at-home testing, a public education campaign, and no lockdowns. And everyone was like, uh, let's not rule out day drinking so fast. I mean, that's... <laughs> that's right, no lockdowns. Biden must have felt the glare of a million brides planning their wedding, like, don't you dare! <laughs> don't you dare! 
Biden's plan also extends the mandate requiring people to wear masks on public transit. And people riding the New York City subway here were like, yeah, can you also require a mandate to wear pants? Because <laughs> masks are like eighth on the list of what's happening here. Oh, applesauce! Don't grab the pole. <laughs> But Biden did lay out an ambitious goal. By springtime, he wants the majority of Americans to know how to pronounce Omicron. It's called the Omicron. 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 The Omicron variant. <laughs> Om Omicronian bitch. Uh, I read that uh, President Trump might have tried to self-publish his memoir to avoid uh, getting a smaller advance than President Obama got for his memoir. Yeah, and Trump is even considering a few titles for his book. Uh, for example... Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> What's up, Mark? Let me guess. You're gonna make fun of Trump by saying a bunch of fake book titles. I mean, yeah, that was, that was the plan. <laughs> uh, let me guess, and then each cover will pop up on the screen and people will see it and laugh about it. Right. We often show graphics during the monologue to make our audience laugh. Yeah. Man, I know exactly how this will go down. You'll start off with something like, Tweet, pray, love. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, then you'll follow it up with, oh, the places you'll riot. <laughs> yeah, then you'll do, are you there, Vlad? It's me, Donald. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 and after that, you're gonna do uh, 50 Shades of COVID. Yeah, yeah these, are all, these are all pretty good examples, yeah. Oh, and then you'll do one that says, uh, Lord of the Onion Rings. <laughs> wait, wait, no, no, you'll do, from whom the Taco Bell tolls. Yeah. Yeah, and then instead of Clifford the Big Red Dog, you'll do Clip on the Big Red Tie. Yeah, I know. Clip, yeah, but these are... We probably wouldn't do this many, but, yeah, that's, these are all great examples. Oh, then you'll do 1980, Four Seasons Total Landscape. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or a couple where, where you don't even have to change the title, like Pride and Prejudice or <laughs> Eclipse. Yeah. Ah, whoa, whoa. And then you'll finish it off with something classic, like uh, the, the Color, color orange. orange. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Is that how it's going to go down, Jimbo? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You, got, you, guys, uh, you guys nailed it. That was it, yeah. That sounds like a fun bit. You should do it. All right, we'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is exciting. Uh, tonight, Annie Live premiered on NBC. Yeah, it's been a tough year, so NBC wanted to lift our spirits with an orphan singing about how hard life is. <laughs> Some business news. Tesla just announced two new products that are kind of surprising. First, they uh, released a $50 whistle, and it sold out immediately. <laughs> then they released a $2,000 ATV for kids called the Cyber Quad. Take a look at this. <laughs> or as parents put it, yeah, here's a whistle. Merry, <laughs> Merry Christmas. They were out of the uh, quad, yeah. Oh, on CNN this morning, they were talking about the dangers of social media for kids, and one guy had a very interesting take. <laughs> Listen to this. You know, in your view, how harmful is Instagram to kids? I think a lot of parents would agree with me on this. I would rather give my 14-year-old son a bottle of Jack Daniels and marijuana <laughs> than an Instagram and a Snap account. His kid was like, okay, so I guess I'll be drunk, high, and on TikTok. Uh, perfect. <laughs> His son doesn't need social media. He's about to be the most popular kid at school. <laughs> well, last night uh, was the National Christmas Tree Lighting. And uh, during his speech, President Biden tried to thank LL Cool J for hosting. But I think he was a little confused on, about who LL Cool J is. <laughs> Watch this. A special thanks to tonight's host, LL Cool J. I'll tell you what, man. He looks like he can still play. And I'm not talking about instruments. I'm talking about football or something. It manages. <laughs> anyway, I tell you what. You know, it wouldn't be the holidays without uh, Grandpa saying something that makes you go, oh, geez, all right, all right. Get him out of here. <laughs> Biden's staff was yelling, quick, turn on the tree. Turn on the tree! <laughs> And Aide was like, how did that happen? L literally, the only thing on the prompter was, Merry Christmas, flip switch, good night. <laughs> to be fair, LL Cool J did play professional football in the 1999 movie, Any Given Sunday. <laughs> I... It got worse when Biden said, anyway, thanks to, for whatever you do, LL Bean J. 
Joel <laughs> Bean Jeff. Meanwhile, today, Biden was delivering remarks in the economy, and he didn't really like, uh, he didn't sound like himself. Listen to this. The CEOs of not only the, 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 the suppliers, but the CEOs of UPS and FedEx, which are on track to deliver more packages than ever. First of all, Mr. President, uh, your voice sounds a little different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was real? That's real, yeah. <laughs> there he is, uh, President Groot. Obama was like, sounds like the job's got you smoking, too. <laughs> Overnight, Biden suddenly turned into Brad Garrett. Raymond, Raymond. <laughs> Even Shaq was like, what's up with that voice? <laughs> well, this is good news. Last night, just hours before the deadline, Congress reached a deal to avoid a government shutdown. Yes. <laughs> a government shutdown. You know these are crazy times when the government almost shuts down and most Americans are like, meh. <laughs> Add it to the pile. <laughs> yeah, the government is now funded through February 18th. It's basically Congress's version of repeatedly clicking remind me tomorrow on a software update. It's like, no, no, no I just want to check my emails. Not yet. No, don't, don't update. Don't. Some business news. Bath and Body Works big annual scented candle sale starts today. <laughs> and People take this sale very seriously. This morning, there was a 30-minute wait to even get on the website. Ooh. It is so popular that this year, there's a limit of 18 candles per customer. So you're only allowed to buy 18 scented Bath & Body Works <laughs> candles, max. Well? Well, what? Well, what 18 Bath & Body Works candles are you going to buy? It's easy. It's a no-brainer. Winter candy apple, mahogany balsam, mahogany teakwood, holiday, hot cocoa and cream, sugar snickerdoodle, snowflakes and citrus, flannel, fresh balsam, peppermint sugar cookie, champagne toast, marshmallow fireside, frosted cranberry, tis the season, under the Christmas tree, bright Christmas morning, maybe two classics like vanilla balsam and frosted coconut snowball. Well, you're not, you're not getting anything from Bath and Body Works White Barn collection? What about like... Eucalyptus snowfall, sweater weather, or ice cranberry scone? I mean, I guess I could see swapping out mahogany balsam and for an ice vanilla woods. But I did have my eye on that new metallic jar trio with winterberry wreath, falling snow, and midnight snow. I missed two snows in one. <laughs> wow. Come on. This year's uh, Joy, Love, Peace, Hope collection, two all-new scents, iced raspberry bellini and cotton candy champagne. Still come with the winter peach marshmallow, though, right? <laughs> You tell me. Oh, that's my dude. We're waiting all year for this, man. <laughs> that's my dude. No, oh, no, wait, 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 Higgins. Higgins. Are you, are you eating a melted candle? No. I filled this thing up with pudding. Oh. OK, what, what flavor? Pine. Ah, oh, very good. <laughs> So good. I, uh, I uh, read that. Uh, turn the lights. Turn the tree on. Turn the tree up. <laughs> I read that uh, Zoom just rolled out a new feature called attendance status that makes it easier to see who's at a meeting and whether anyone showed up late. This is why they're changing the name from Zoom to NARC. <laughs> Come on. Oh, man. And now Skype is trying to capitalize on this. That's right, their new motto is Skype, where snitches get stitches. <laughs> well, it's the holiday season and everyone's getting packages delivered, but there's one house in Tennessee that might have taken it a little too far. Check this out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's what happens when you give a three-year-old your phone for five minutes. That's <laughs> the UPS guy's gonna lose his mind when the owner's like, I need to make a very large return. <laughs> Also, I saw that a bride in North Carolina went viral for celebrating her wedding with a mannequin of her husband because he got food poisoning on the big day. Check this out. It's real. Yeah. <laughs> Their wedding was actually delayed twice because of COVID, and then the groom got food poisoning. And each time, the bride said, God, if I'm making a mistake, give me a sign. <laughs> give me... Guys, the NFL just suspended uh, three players, including Tampa Bay Buccaneers star receiver Antonio Brown for turning in fake vaccine cards. The NFL got suspicious when under doctor it said Aaron Rodgers. Pick 